Welcome to episode 8, uh, I believe, of Half Moon Bay. We're here in our Seed City, and uh, as you can see, we have our main intersection, uh, our main interchange, I should say, between the ground level freeway here and the, the high freeway, the, the raised freeway that goes around, or that goes through the center. Um, I did some testing and playing around in uh, my R&D. Uh, area a little early, earlier earlier today so if you were excuse me I, I have allergies as well so <coughs> sorry about that <laughs> so if you were watching earlier today that you saw uh, you saw me do a little bit of this a uh, little bit of this stuff that I'm probably gonna do in this city uh, although I'll, I'll try to make it look a little bit nicer <laughs> so what we're gonna do is create a uh, basically a freeway that comes through here and runs around up to this side of the city and it looked pretty good in the other one and I think the exits and everything will work out pretty well so we'll try it out in this one and uh, hopefully make it work a little even, even better <laughs> one thing that I do want to do is have hello dream spawn uh, one thing I do want to do is have um, kind of the the highest, build, the tallest buildings in the center area, which means I may end up moving this uh, electronics HQ to have it somewhere somewhere closer here. Uh, we'll see what what I have going on, but that's that's what I want to use. But I I do kind of want to use an area like right over here as uh, the university as well. I gotta think about that too because I want these to be producing really well so maybe I should put the university in this area I'm not sure I I'm really not sure yet I'm trying to decide but with that let's build this intersection oh and let's see what do I have here processor Consumer electronics, consumer electronics. So I need to put another processor plant in up here somewhere. And let's get let's get rid of this for now. We'll put it back in in a little bit. Because I'm wondering, yeah, I can't fit three more on there. It would have to be out here. So it's, I don't think it's going to work there. I will have to figure out where to put that. I could put it along here. I want my trade port over here as well. So let's do the freeway first, actually. We want, <coughs> excuse me, we want a two-lane freeway to curve around in here. Yes. What is that clicking? There's a clicking noise. Let's 
See, that's not the same curve. That is. What I should actually do here is get the guides. Actually, what I should do here. Is figure out where I want. <coughs> excuse me, where I want the freeway to come out. And then just draw curves between it. So I kind of want it to go this way. And then up here, we can go Yeah, I think we can go this way. And actually, we'll need to make this a little bit longer. Oh, and I need to turn the music off. There we go. Forgot about that. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Let's make this longer. So we get an even, fairly even curve. And I really would like to know what that clicking noise is. It's kind of disconcerting. Doesn't want to give me a good curve. There we go. There. Okay, the clicking is really bothering me. I need to figure out what it is and stop it. Okay. I don't hear it now. This, I think, needs to be smoothed out just a little bit. two-lane freeway. Maybe not. Maybe we need to go a little bit farther forward with this. That looks a little better. And then I think we can fix this side just a little bit. <coughs> there we go. <coughs> just a moment, I gotta... Oh, I'll be right back.
Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Well, hello, Prologix. I'm pretty good. <laughs> uh, yeah, Sir Notes. I do have the regional coastline mod. Uh, I, I didn't do it for this city, but there are cities that don't have... I, I don't intend to draw my own waterways, but there are cities that don't have very good ones um, in place. Like, you, they really need to be a few more spots that you can add to it. So, hopefully I'll be able to use that in other cities to... You know, to help that sort of thing out. And then I want this road. Let's see, I want... I know that I'm going to want one of these. Uh, not in there. One of... The... Oh. I need to put in... <laughs> I think. I have been good, Prologix. There we go. Now I can do the train thing. Because what I'm going to want is a road that goes up to here, or not a road, but a <coughs> the train thing is going to go in somewhere over here probably, and I, oh, why is this popping, why do I keep hearing that noise, do you guys hear that on the stream, or is it something else, Then I'm also going to want to make sure I can get anybody off of there. So we need a line here. Going this way. Okay, dream spawn. Good. I'm not I'm not quite going crazy about that anyway. I just don't know what it's from. Yeah, it's like random static and I have no idea what it's from. Let me disconnect a couple things here. Hopefully it doesn't make a ton of noise. Okay, hopefully that helped. Uh, what I'm doing today is adding in uh, another transport layer to the um, the city here. I'm going to put in a freeway around the outside so that people can get around a little bit better inside the city. <laughs> Thank you, Dream Spawn. <laughs> it, was, it, it was really bugging me. I was like, what is that noise? <laughs> Let's see. And the curve should be right about here. Ish. Maybe here. And then we're going to need another two lane freeway going the other way. Yeah, I think I think it was uh, another audio cord I had plugged in that was causing the sound, that the little bit of popping, and I disconnected that. So I don't hear it now. That would actually be pretty good. Can I get this side to go the same way? Ooh, I can. That looks really good. So then we need to get it over this road. Which we'll also need to make sure we have one of these uh, one-lane freeway ramps. We need to make, make sure we make space for it. Ooh, 
There we go. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, now we'll put in, where are we here? Two lane freeway. Oh, I turned the guides off. And then, oh, whoops. Not the ramp, this one. Going the other way. Now when coming across this, I think this time, because on the stream I had this road closer over here on, on the earlier stream. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I think what I want to do this time is have this just come across and go down and then turn. So let's back this up. And what I should do here is, where, where are you here? This one had <laughs> so many roads. I should try to match this coming straight across. I don't think I can perfectly, but I should be able to get close at least. So that should be right about the middle, and it's the wrong thing. There we go. Should be pretty good. And then this one needs to come back. Is that close? Oh, it's a little bit farther away. There we go. That should be pretty good. And then, where's the thing that I want here? This one. No, wait, let's do this way first. Yeah, the freeway over the buildings is, <coughs> excuse me, is really nice. Come on. Oh, seriously. There we go. One going this way. And... Going this way. Then we just need to do slopes. transition. Okay, we need to go one more. There we go. And then going up the other side should look the same. Yeah, that looks good. As does that. Okay, well, let's do this side. Probably right about there. Oh, whoops. I'm going to go this way. Yeah, that'll work. Thank you, sir. Notes. 
I like the way this whole little thing turned out. Let's see, maybe it'll look better from the side. Yeah, you got the the three bridges going over the top, the bus thing underneath. It looks it looks really nice. Now we just have to make this turn. And that's actually right about right for the corner. We just need to make it larger. And can we do one more? How, how close are we? Oh yeah, we can do one more. And let's see what kind of corner we get from that. Um, and, and I don't want these guides because they're going to throw me off. It was pulling the road around. I think that'll work pretty good. Corners a little bit. It's okay. So then we need to do this side. I'm pretty sure that this needs to come out. Right about to. No, it's even a little bit. Here. Let's back it up just a little. Uh, Two-lane freeway. Right here. No, wait. Right there? That looks about right. And, of course, I don't think this will fit, because we're way too close. Yeah. Oh, wow. It actually would. I don't like that. The inside one's going to be too... Yeah, that's too sharp. Let's actually do one. And then that should look nice and smooth and good looking. Oh, of course. At least there's an easy way to deal with that. too far out. Okay. Suppose that means I need to do that. That might be too far though. Uh this one. Yeah. Okay, let's do it this way.
<clears throat> Excuse me. You gotta space the second road if you want curves. I guess I don't know what you mean. Space the second road. Oh, I see what you mean. Oh, that's going the wrong way. Let's do the outside one first. And then I can figure out what the inside one is. Oh. That'll work. That'll definitely work. And it actually doesn't look too bad. Cool. Then we just need to create this T intersection. Which, <coughs> I need the one lane ramps. Oh, okay, so that's not exactly straight, actually. There we go. And then we find the straight spot over here. And then we try to match this curve. Ooh, so close. If I bend it out just a little, it'll actually work. And that actually looks pretty decent. do the same to the inside here and I hope I didn't bring this too close because I, I should have enough room though Right about there, I think. Nope. Oh yeah, this isn't a straight road, I forgot. There we go.
That looks pretty good. Now let's do the close ones that are going to be this turn and this turn. Well, let's do at least do, do this turn. And I think I can just take the one lane ramp straight in here. Yeah. There we go. Then I just need to take some of this out. Oh, and that actually needs to stay straight. This part needs to curve in. There we go. And that can exit from the freeway right about... Let's do it right here. Yeah, right. Road building simulator. Okay. So this one is going to be the one that goes over the top this way. Which means I'm going to need to take this out to at least here. Same with this one. Oh yeah, it's uh, to be honest, the, the roads that that are used in this mod are f almost better to use than than Sim City roads. <laughs> There's minor annoyances like having to use the, the transition ones to, to be able to go over another road, but if you know about them, they're not that bad. <coughs> now, we are going to have a right-hand turn come out this way, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be backing this road up some. So let's do this turn first. Yeah, I could do a tunnel underneath, but I don't think I'll have enough room to make the curve. So I think I'm going to do it a little bit different. Um, and I think it'll look nice, too. Oh, uh, and actually thinking about it, I probably couldn't do a tunnel because I'm pretty close to the water. 
Although I didn't think about doing a tunnel in the first place, so. So let's try to go straight from there and curve over to here. Can I then smoothly and cleanly? Yes. That actually doesn't look too bad. <laughs> and then we just back this up to about there. And do that. Small break in the road, but that's actually not too bad. All right. There's the first one. Oh, and we should connect it in. Where does it come down? That's some kind of sexy. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Now it's, I think. <laughs> There we go. Exit off. Perfect. So it's not earthquake safe. Big deal. <laughs> oh, yes, Fart Nation. I, I have some ideas of how I'm going to do this, but we'll see how it all works out. All right, so we have that road going on. Let's do this road now. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to back this off some. Because in order to make this work, we're going to have to go above this other one. But... We can go probably from straight over here. And then one, two, three. That should work. So then we just need to get it back to main height. And this one. Come on. Something like that. That's a pretty good slope. <coughs> and then we back this off to there. And we get our transition down into it. And that'll work. I hate that if I have to raise the level that I have to actually almost come back to flat, that I can't make this a smooth thing. But that's okay. And then we'll try to hook it into the freeway here. There we go. It works pretty well. Hmm. 
Yeah. Then we just need to hook this part up, which I'm sure I'm going to have to back off. No, sadly, Dream Spawn, you can't do a transition straight from the highest one. The transitions only work from standard elevated level to ground level. That's the that's the slightly annoying part. <laughs> the sweet smell of successful road. Yes, Proto Logics. So that's exactly right. Alright, now I need this to be straight road. Get better top down view. Okay, so that would be almost straight into it. Oh, that's, I need the elevated though. Okay, that would still be almost straight into it. Very close. Dang it. Oh, I hope that didn't mess something up. Oh, of course it is. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, Dream Spawn. Where's the undo? Um, oh, yes yeah, or no, it's that this mod is definitely much more than I expected. Oh, too steep. Okay. Oh, no, that, no, it's not because I can. There we go. Forgot about that. Okay. And I wonder, can I go straight from here down to the ground? Because that way it wouldn't really level off. Ooh, I can. Still kind of does a weird leveling off thing, but... Let's extend this out just a little more. Uh, to lane. Oh, it's going to grab on down there, isn't it? That's the one super tedious part about this. So it's a little bit of a hinky thing, but it's closer to even grade. Oh, sorry about that. I have to sneeze really bad. Um, yes, sir. Notes. I totally agree. Uh, it's, it's like Photoshop where you can turn off snap for a minute so that you can get it right where you want it. <laughs> now this one, I, want, I wonder if I can get guides off of this. Uh, sort of, but they're not straight. Oh, sorry, Dream Spawn. Yeah, you, you said the relax the snapping. No, you're totally right. 
Oh yeah, floating roads. Yeah, lo I love that. At some futuristic engineering. Did they not cover that in your uh, engineering classes, or? <laughs> oh oh oh. And then, I'm like there. Graphene roads, yeah. <laughs> oh, I don't like that there's two signs there. Pretty sure I can then Yeah, just draw this straight. Oh, why is there Oh I know why, okay. So I actually need to take this back to here. Oh yeah, it's totally cool. The signs have names on them and stuff. I just, uh, I want this. I, I don't want the sign. I don't want to double the sign there. So having it here works perfectly fine. Because this has to be this transitional road. But the rest of this doesn't. In fact, I should probably take some of that away. Um, yeah. Because all of this doesn't need to be... There we go. That looks much better. Couple signs, but if, but less. Okay, we have our entrances, exits. Looks good. Our T intersection is done there. So we have our intersection from the freeway. Okay, so if somebody comes in this way or comes in this way, they have to hit this intersection. And then if they go down... Oh, we missed this little corner here. Jeez, you guys are supposed to be watching this stuff. Reminding me that, hey, you missed a piece. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So they come in either direction, and let's say they go this way. So if they go this way, they can turn either left or right. And we'll connect this up in a little bit here. And so, or if they go this way, oh, that's interesting, we put signs there. If it goes this way, you can go over here and come this way, and the same going this way. All right, cool. Oh yeah, the solar powered roads thing is, is neat, but um, it, it's, and I talked about this actually in my podcast a little bit, it's like, uh, and somebody else has talked about this too, where they said it's kind of like paving the road with iPods, like, cause it's glass and stuff. And I understand that it's super strong glass, but I think it's something that would work better as like parking lot or, you know, not, not people traveling 70 miles an hour, um, but like parking lots or, um, um, you know, like asphalt play areas, like, uh, you know, basketball courts and things like that, that would be perfect for that. And it, and it would still, it would be large solar panels basically being put down. So the idea is brilliant. The other cool part that if they do get it working on roads, um, it, it is that they can do pressure sensitive stuff and it works kind of like a mesh network so that the thing can, you know, notify people coming up on the road, hey, there's somebody crossing the road, slow down. 
you know, and things like that. So there, there's cool things, but it, I'm skeptical yet. I want to see the I want to see the glass technology get there. Okay, enough of that. Let's connect this down here. Yeah, probably, um, and I don't know that speed has so much to do with it. I don't know. It's just, when I think about it, like, when, when you want to test something for, for durability, what do you do? You run it over with a car, you know? <laughs> like, so, so these things can't be, you know, breakable. Plus, I think that they would get a lot more use out of, or, or a lot more energy out of putting them in roads where they're, um, where they're a little less traveled, you know? Okay. I didn't need to put... Okay, I, this is what I need to do here. I know exactly what I want to do. I'm going to do just like I did in the uh, R&D section. We're going to have a road come down here. We're going to have, uh, no, it's totally not even what I'm looking for. This is, um, I need to put the trade port in, which means I need to put the trade HQ in somewhere. Yeah, right, no access to this road during the day. <laughs> so I, I think given, you know, what you do is you, you, you initially start by picking and choosing. Like I say, you take out the parking lots, you take out the, the um, asphalt, uh, you know, any any big paved asphalt expanses that are kind of like, you know, like I say, parking lot like. Um, you, you do that stuff first. And then you see where that gets you. And then if that if that works out and helps out, then you start paving lesser used roads so that they're, you know, because people driving on them, that's going to block the light. I don't know. It's a neat idea. I want to I want to see where they go with it. Um, here we need a little bit more road here for now, so that we can build this and put the stuff on it. And then I want to put one of these down here. So I want to give it a little bit of room to be able to curve around. And this is going to go here. And then let's do it this way, where we have this. And then we'll draw it this way. And I think I can even fit one more. Uh, freight. Oh, I can't fit one more. Dang. That would have been sweet. Maybe I can scoot these over a little. It's a good thing I had like $30 million to do this because I'm just wasting tons of money. There, that'll work out nicely. Because then we don't even have that road go anywhere. We do have little guys on here. Or actually, maybe we make that road, we extend it just for the trucks. There we go.
Now... <clears throat> Now we need to figure out this conundrum, which is boats. Because I want two boats in here, probably one here. And try to space this out pretty evenly. One here. <laughs> What's a little overspending amongst bureaucrats, right? And I think, can I move this to the other side? Totally can. So we'll do it like that, so that it's a little bit closer to the middle. And then let's try to get a flat road between these. <laughs> it's public money. <laughs> nice. Ooh, so close. Come on. Oh yeah, yeah, it's on loan from the Maxis. No, actually, this money I made. <laughs> so, technically. <laughs> oh, you know what the real trick would be? Uh, and I don't think I can do it because they're, they're going to have intersections between them. Hmm. Let's try this, though, because this, this is really what I want to do. So, all that work for nothing. We're going to put a boat as far over here as we can, and a boat as far over here as we can. And we're going to put a train in between them. So, first we need to do that. Oh, that'll totally work. Alright, cool. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Where were you? <laughs> Did you not read the plans? You're three feet off. Bulldoze it. <laughs> oh, what was that episode of Futurama where he builds that big, uh, you know, where he becomes the uh, the pharaoh? <laughs> and he's like, maybe it's too big. <laughs> Build it, tear it down. Build it again. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty good one. Alright, I think we can do this here. Oh, it's raised. No. It's too steep, too. Son of a... Okay, so I'm going to have to... Lower this section. That's true. <laughs> they don't have to... to yeah, they, they get to pick the structures better. Uh, no, that's... There we go. Just one might be enough. Uh, and next we need to go. And really, I kind of want to bring it down all the way over here.
Is one enough? Looks like it. I don't know, that still might be a little bit steep. Yeah, too steep. Okay, one is not enough. We have to go down two. Still just a little bit above, but maybe we can get the slope now. Ah, oh, really too steep. That side will do it, because it's got just a little bit longer. Damn it, okay. Three it is. I know, right? It's a lot of landscaping. And actually, <laughs> three looks like it's perfectly level with that, so. Yeah, I do miss being able to do some landscaping from God Mode from SimCity 4. Okay, let's take this out. That out. Because I want this to smoothly go up. Or at least more smoothly. Oops, an issue there, but it's not too bad. <clears throat> no, Dream Spawn. Yeah, th there is a um, a mod for it, but it doesn't work very well with the German train station. So there is a mod to plop it on the road, and then you can draw the train tracks through it. But um, it doesn't really work well with the German train station, which I use a lot. So. I, d I don't use it right now. Um, if it gets updated and, and works better with the German train station, then I'm totally down. So this is going to be our little transportation hub. And then what we need to do here... Uh, trains? Get this back to ground level, because I need to I need to resync it to three three clicks down, because it's not it, it's hard to draw draw things like that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do it from here. I don't think I can do it that short. But yeah, too steep. Alright, let's just try to draw it from down here then. Oh, thank you, more you bear. Just want to get this other part in here well. Come on, come on, there we go.
Oh, ho hopefully you can't hear that. Someone's pulling a really loud uh, um, <clears throat> motorcycle in. I, the, there's a parking lot behind where I live, so. I mean, it wasn't extremely loud, and I'm certainly not opposed to motorcycles. It's just, I'm streaming here, people. Come on. <laughs> And now, road grade too steep, okay. Good, no motorcycle sounds. <laughs> there we go. Really, I want to end this road <clears throat> right over here. Oh, that's just not far enough down. Uh, oh, all right. That's a lot better. We just need to fix this corner. There we go. And then we're going to have it end. Right here. So it's got this little bit of a upslope. And then we'll take this and put it... I don't know. Pretty much anywhere we feel like along here. But I was thinking somewhere right in this corner would be cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Dreamspun. Uh, using the M and N keys, says in Mary and Nancy. Uh, yeah, it was like update seven or something. Do do do. Kind of want to put this just right at the corner. I kind of like that. Okay, so we have this this whole trade port area in in place now, and the 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 railroad's just gonna end there. Mike in November, yeah. <laughs> What's the? I wonder what the real, uh, what the the NATO phonetic one for for M, for Mary is, you know, or Mike. Uh, it might actually be Mary. I'm not sure. Thank you, sir. Notes. Oh, and it looks like we're actually over on time, so I'm gonna finish this corner here. Take a brief break, and then I will come back and do another episode. Do I have a little bit more time today? Oh, it is Mike. My, or Michael or something. Yeah, cool. I know N is November. Or no, I know that one is. Because <laughs> I, I looked him up for um, for my website. Because I, I just is like a tiny subheading. It says uh, Tango India November November Echo Charlie. Because it's you know, NATO phonetic for my name. But anyway, 
<laughs> if you like watching me live, you can always do that. You can join the chat room, you know, like DreamSpawn and Sir Notes and ProLogix and all the guys in the chat room. Um, so, or girls, I'm sorry. <laughs> so if you like watching live, you can follow me on Twitch. It's just twitch.tv slash Tinvec. Or, of course, if you're watching after the fact and you like my stuff on YouTube and all that fun stuff, you can always uh, subscribe to my channel there. It's just uh, youtube.com slash Tinvec, like everything else. And like I said earlier, Tango, India, November, November, Echo Charlie. <laughs> That's how you spell it. So uh, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll be back a little bit later today if you're following me live. Or, uh, you know, just Keep on watching for the next episode if you're on on uh, on YouTube. But uh, thanks for watching.